everybody. Uh, we are in a truly magical place. This is really where the magic begins of what's, what's happening here. Um, and here we have our, our designer. Um, tell me your name again. Dinis. Dinis. And he's going to speak to us in Ukrainian. I'm going to ask him some questions. He's going to. Uh, first of all, Dennis, what is all this? Изначально это было ателье по пошиву детской трикотажной одежды. Но поскольку тренды немножко поменялись, мы теперь шьем тактическое снаряжение. So you, uh, so you, before you make children's clothes here, and now uh, we are making clothes not for children, I hope. <laughs> but you, you are still making some clothes for children. Um, I heard about 90% military and 10% children's clothes because you still have to have a business. <laughs> okay. Um, what what are these? What is here? Это лекала одежды. Трикотажные. Брючки, штанишки. Ага, ага. So, so patterns. Templates. Ah, templates, templates, yeah. Okay. And uh, what's this? Это кордура. Ага. Тысяча дэн. Кордура. Состав полиамид. Oh, пропитка полиуретан. Полиамид. And what do you use it for? Из них мы делаем бронежилеты, подсумки, аптечки. Ага, ага. И в целом тактическое снаряжение. So for all of the or a lot of the military clothes, the vests, you need this. Um, so what do you need if, if we're going to talk to people in America? Uh, sorry. What do you guys need uh, the most right now to do this very important work? So I, I was told this... You can't buy this in Ukraine, right? Well, you have to. С этим не было проблем до начала боевых действий, но сейчас мы не можем нигде достать кардуру настоящую. В общем, есть очень много подделок, и есть очень большой дефицит настоящей американской кардуры. American cordura. Да. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's what they need help with, guys. Financial and uh, help, obviously, but. The main thing is they need to get these materials here so that they can make these the equipment that, that they need for the soldiers. Thanks, everybody.